starting in verse two, each of these horsemen is revealing a swift effect on the earth. Now the emphasis is not on the horse man. It's not like each of these, you know, there's not this red man coming and this pale green man coming and this black man coming and this white man coming. It's the horse and the rider was, was a picture of this rapid sweep through the earth. And each of these horsemen symbolizes and communicates this, this unleashing across the world of something. So verse two, the white uh, horse is the rapid spread of a false temporary deceptive peace. You say, how do you know that? Because I'm gonna show you in a moment, Jesus actually outlines what John is writing about in Matthew 24. And Jesus describes what's going on with this white horse. If you go to verse four, red is for the rapid global spread of warfare and bloodshed uh, with the red horse. Um, Black in verse five, the black horseman, is for the rapid global spread of, of famine. They work all day and they get a quart of wheat. And remember in Bible times, the man went out and worked and he brought back for his whole family a quart of wheat. Can you imagine the starvation and hunger when entire families live an entire day on a quart of wheat? And, and it's just speaking of, of famine and scarcity that just sweeps across the earth. And finally in verse eight, this pale green one has the gangrenous color of death and through a rapid global spread of pestilence, death comes. And so that's the four horsemen. So the first element of verse two is that The tribulation starts with God (coughs) unleashing powerful forces. So second, God says that global deception comes first. Look what it says in verse two. After John looked and beheld these four horsemen, it says the first one in verse two is a white horse. Global deception comes first. Now you say white, deception, yeah. Remember, think in terms of the Bible. Paul said in 1 Corinthians, or 2 Corinthians 11 and verse 14, Satan can transform himself to appear as an angel of light. To say, Satan can transform himself to appear as an angel of light. Rather than the angel of darkness, he really is. So white is not always a sighting of something pure or something holy in the Bible. It can also be a symbol of deception or here of deceptive global peace and it's temporary and it's false. And most conservative Bible teachers over the centuries have taken this first horseman as a symbol of the rapid spread of global peace. That finally, Jesus who came as the Prince of Peace, remember he he was supposed to be the wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And, And he comes and is rejected. So this man, that Satan energizes says, I am the Christ that you've all heard about and you've had confusion about, but I'm bringing peace and it just spreads. It's unleashed. It's called forth by God, this peace to launch the tribulation. And God says global peace is what mankind has always wanted. So God gives them what they want. And through a series of deceivers, the chiefest of whom becomes the Antichrist. You say, Becomes the Antichrist? Yes. Did you know Satan has always had a man in the wings to be the Antichrist? You realize the Antichrist is not a super person of themselves. It's the power of the mightiest being God ever created completely working through them. It's the first time God's going to allow Satan to channel his, his incredible power directly through a human. And this person can be one of the most insignificant. You know, people all over the world are are wondering what the Antichrist looks like, and is he kind of like an Ivy Leaguer and a Mensa scholar, and he's gonna win all these awards and elocution. He's probably a dodo, is what he is. Because all it takes is a body that Satan can speak through. 